Big One. At John F. Kennedy Memorial Stadium in Philadelphia, 100,000 spectators join the Corps of Cadets and the Brigade of Midshipmen for the 75th anniversary of the first Army-Navy football game. And there comes the Army team. Captain Roly Stitchway leads the warm-up. Barry Nickerson gets in one more practice kick. Coach Dixel's Army team is as ready as it can be. Navy wins the toss and elects to receive. Nickerson kicks off. Army defending the south goal. Leiser takes the ball in the two. Stowers and Dietz nail him down on the 18. Townsend Clark, who's done a terrific defensive job all year, stops Leiser cold. Set back to their 13-yard line. Navy comes out of its huddle with Staubach planning to pass. But he doesn't expect the ferocity of the Army rush. Stowers flings him back into the end zone for a safety, and Army leads two to nothing. Let's watch that same play from the top. Staubach is doomed from the start. Carver, Braun, and Rivers join Stowers in the rush. Two to nothing, Army. Williams free kicks to the Army, 40. Behind the wedge by Army, Seymour returns it 10 yards. The cadets have more surprises for the Navy. They unveil a double wing formation against them. Seymour bursts through a hole in right tackle for seven yards to the Navy, 43. Roley Stitchway is playing the greatest game of his career. Watch him roll out. He never gives up until he goes and goes and goes to the Navy, 14. An 18-yard game for the Army quarterback. Stitchway is running that Army offense with all the poise of a true veteran. Again, he rolls out, this time to pass. The ball is tipped, and Navy intercepts in the end zone. For days, Army defense strategists have worked out patterns to harass Mr. Staubach, and they really apply that pressure now. This time, Zadell and Braun smear him at the line of scrimmage. It's fourth down, and the middies are forced to kick. Williams' punt is taken by the redoubtable Stitchway. And Rowley gets every foot he can in spite of a swarm of Navy tacklers. The underdogs in today's big game, the cadets pile up 215 yards in rushing. Here's John Seymour getting 17 of them in a counterplay off right tackle. And now watch for nifty blocks by Zadell and Champy as Army springs another counterplay. This time Seymour speeds all the way to the Navy five. Goal to go for Army. Stitchway rolls out to his left and gently tosses to Champy for a touchdown. Eight to nothing, Army. Who's excited? 
Navy's ball again. But look at that charge. This time, Dave Rivers and Pete Brown swarm the Annapolis quarterback. Navy keeps trying, and Staubach looks desperately for a receiver. This time, he gets some great blocks, but he's forced out of bounds for no gain. Staubach is unquestionably a great player, but Army is giving him no time. Here he tries to pick up yardage around left end before Carver, Clark, and Schwartz lay him low. Here's a head-on close-up of that Army defensive unit. The Navy quarterback is trying to pierce it. Staubach fading. He passes to Lyser, who flies to the Army three before Noble knocks him out of bounds. Goal to go for Navy. Staubach gives to Lyser, who goes up and over to score. The midshipmen decide to try for the two-point conversion. Staubach is rushed heavily. He gets it off, and the officials rule that Norton catches it. This ties the score at 8 all. Here comes the Army team. It's the beginning of the fourth quarter, and they've got the ball in their own 31. Stitchway rolls out to pass, but his receivers are covered, and Rowley runs with the ball. 17 yards to a first down on the Army 48. Army going all out now has another surprise. Stitchway gets nice protection as he drops back to pass. A long one to Champy. And Sam is down to the Navy 19. A 33-yard advance. Navy's defense stiffens as the Army gets closer to the goal line. Stitchway keeps driving, and he's down to the Navy 7 for a first down and goal to go. But Navy holds on fourth down. Nickerson tries a field goal. Tony Pierce holding. The ball comes down to Pierce now. Here's the kick. It's good. Army leads Navy 11-8. The lights go on in Philadelphia to counteract the fading light of afternoon. Navy hopes for a miracle, but the Army's rush is too much. Carver, Brown, and Rivers still stall back for a 13-yard loss. Just 10 seconds are left on that clock as Navy seeks one last shot to sink the Army. Staubach in serious trouble, laterals to Lyser, but Stitchway roars after him for the final tackle, and the game is over. of happy cadets surges out on the field. Army has beaten the Navy 11 to 8. Rowley Stitchway, hero of the game and of the year, is carried off the field. A tremendous victory it is for a brave old Army team, for a team that never quit. <laughs>